Hello guys, how are you? This is your friend Alex. On this video, I transfer two WhatsApp accounts from a Samsung to an iPhone. What happened if I want to move from an iPhone to a Samsung device? Let's see how can we do this, right? I do have two WhatsApp accounts here on the iPhone. Okay. Let's see if Samsung is going to allow me to transfer both or just one. We're going to see it right now. So let's start with the Samsung. We're going to configure the Samsung. Imagine this is your Samsung Galaxy A24 Ultra. Okay. Start. Every time you see optional, you need to go one by one. You see, you can move here. Boom. Easy setup with another device. Sign in automatically and copy settings, accounts, and more from another phone or tablet. Keep your other phone or tablet nearby and unlock. And they're giving you the option to do it from an iPhone. Look, iPhone. Choosing a Wi-Fi network. Next. Getting your phone ready. I do have the two SIM cards active. So we need to sign in to our Google account. I'm going to use my su amigo Alex too. Hi Alex, agree. Getting account info. Copy data from your iPhone or iPad. You can choose to copy photos, contacts, and more. I'm going to click next. Get started with a smart switch. We use the smart switch app to copy your apps and data from your old device. Click next. Smart switch uses these permissions. Microphone calendar, car logs, contacts, nearby devices, notification, photos and videos, SMS, camera, allow. I'm going to allow everything. Get connected. Using a cable is fastest and let you transfer more data. All right, so we're going to connect both devices, right? I'm going to use the new cable that comes with the iPhone 15 Pro. USB-C to USB-C, all right? And that's it, as simple as that. So let's start with the source. In this case, it's gonna be the iPhone. So the iPhone is connected with USB-C. And now let's connect the Samsung, your Samsung device. Maybe a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Click it here and let's see what happened. Connecting to transfer your data. Trust this computer, trust. Check your iPhone, next. Connecting for data to transfer. So here we're gonna select all the stuff that we need, right? I think it's gonna give me the option to select what kind of apps do I need because it's only allowing me to select or deselect. All right, transfer. Ah, here it is guys. So here I'm gonna be able to deselect all the stuff that I don't want and I'm just gonna select WhatsApp. Oh look, WhatsApp business. I'm gonna be able to transfer WhatsApp business? Wow, okay. Let's see guys. Let's see if it's possible. So I have WhatsApp Messenger and I have WhatsApp business. Let's see. Transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp then tap start. Camera and I'm just gonna scan this. Open in WhatsApp. Move chats to Android. Start. It says keep the cable connected. One setup is done. Okay, Google services. Continue on your new phone. Okay. Use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. I'm going to turn it off. And that's it. Accept. Protect your phone. Skip. Skip anyway. Use assistant without unlocking your phone. I'm going to put a... Okay, agree. Teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Okay, I can do this later, right? I will say no thanks. Turn off. Samsung account. Don't have an account. All right. I'll set up later in settings. Skip. Samsung services. No, I don't want this. Next. Home screen only. Okay. Choose your keyboard. I'm going to keep it like that. You are all set up. Finish. So what happened with my WhatsApp? Maybe it's downloading here. You see? Completing setup. Zero of 11 applications. I don't see uh, 19 apps. What is this? Ah, here. So here's when you have to um, close the ones that you don't need. And you're only going to allow WhatsApp. Yeah. WhatsApp business and WhatsApp messenger. Close the other stuff that you don't need. So here they are downloading guys. WhatsApp business and WhatsApp messenger. Still at pending. So something else going on here guys. You see? Something else is going on. We have three stuff going around. Organizing your transfer data. Okay. But this is the one that I want to see, right? Yeah. This is the stuff that I want to see. Oh, okay. The Play Store is being updated. Uh, close app. All this Samsung stuff that I didn't ask for, they are getting updated or they're being installed. I don't know. You see? Samsung Notes. How can we stop this? We can't. So this is messing up the regular installation. Look all this stuff that Samsung is going to download. So it looks like uh, they already finished WhatsApp. WhatsApp business is pending. So we're going to go to data transfer complete. Data transfer results. 69 items. Two apps. 
Outlook, they copy two apps, WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business. Next, turn off iMessage. All set. Done. So let's see, guys, if it's really all set or not. I have a WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business. Let's open WhatsApp. Welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. Allow. So here, guys, we're going to use the personal one, okay? 786-365-1927, okay? And I do have the SIM cards inside, so any confirmation will be automatic, I think. Yeah. You try requesting code to other phones too many times. To verify, tap send SMS, okay? Need help getting a code? I guess, right? Send SMS, let's see. Choose an app for USB device. What is that? Verification complete, you know? I was getting a message saying that I got logged out of WhatsApp. Okay. Continue. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed all. Importing chat history. Okay. Start. Import complete. And this is me. Let's see if I get all my chats. I'll say uh, daily on this account, include videos, and that's it. And you can see that I got all my chats that I got on the iPhone. I got it now on the Android, on the Samsung device, guys. Everything got transferred. Now, let's see if the same thing happened with Google Business. Allow and continue. It's trying to use this number, but I want to use a different number. So click use a different number. Allow. And we're going to put 754-274-6416. Going to click next. Yes. Send in the code. And the iPhone is telling me that uh, a registration code was requested on your phone number. And it's getting verified automatically because I do have the SIM card here. Okay. Allow, allow, allow all. It's looking for backups. And this is the backup. Next. And that's it, guys. I think moving to WhatsApp from the iPhone to the Android is easier. Because look at this, guys. I got all my chats transferred from the iPhone to the Samsung Galaxy A15. In your case, maybe the S24 Ultra and everything got transferred. Let me see this. This is the chat, right? Yeah, business. All right, guys, so that's it. That concludes the tutorial. I was able to transfer, what is this? Choose an app for the USB device. Smart switch, I would say smart switch, but just once, okay? So I always have the, the option. Oh, it's trying to do it again, right? It's trying to do it again, guys, look. <laughs> but I already did it, so I'm just gonna disconnect it, you know? Okay, devices disconnect. And that's how you transfer, guys, two WhatsApps from the iPhone to the Android. In your case, probably it's going to be the new S24 Ultra. In my case, I'm using a modest Samsung Galaxy A15, which is new also, running Android 14. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can help me. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.